What's up, YouTube? Now, this video, I just want to stress that you do not have to spend a lot of money to grow corals. Everything I see on social media is like the fanciest fish room ever, the most expensive tank, my thousand dollar skimmer, got five grand in lights, dose this, dose that, buy this, buy that. It drives me crazy. Because corals don't care about any of that crap. These tanks are so cheap. You know, like, this little light is under $100. And I would buy this every day of the week over that Radeon G5. I think it grows corals faster. These bigger ones are just under 200 bucks. Cranking out some lights. Now, these skimmers are not necessary, but I use them to raise my pH. So they're kind of necessary for me. But they're around 100 bucks. This tank at Peco at the dollar a gallon sale was $10. The 20 gallon long ends up being $25. These side mount filters are probably 50 bucks. So let's see, we got 100, 150, 160, uh, 260. Then I built a water tower with a flow valve. See, 300 bucks stand. You're getting a tank for four or five hundred bucks, depending on how big of a light and how big of a tank you get. Four or five hundred dollars, and you can do this. They always say, spend all your money on your equipment, spend all your money on your additives. That's wrong. That's because they want to make money off you. Do not do that. Spend all your money on your corals. Because if you buy a tank, even if it's only 10 gallons, and you put one little coral frag in there, your ecology is going to suffer and your tank is not going to thrive. Now, if you buy this 10 gallon tank and spend all your money on corals and just jam it full like this, it's going to do a thousand times better. The bacteria, the ecology, there's just something about the tank being full of happy, healthy corals that makes it thrive. It, it consumes the nutrients in the correct order, it just makes it balance. You need corals as your main filtration, as your main balance for chemistry. So you need to stuff your tank full of corals if you want it to be happy. But I wouldn't do it day one. You know, I would wait like a week or so before you really stuff it. Just get all the funk out, throw some carbon in the system, get any metals out. And then, after it's stabilized slightly, stuff it with corals. Spend your money on your coils, not your equipment. These tanks are so cheap. A kid mowing grass in the summer could afford one of these. Those are about three to five hundred dollars right there. This right here is about five thousand dollars. Any equipment, stand, tank, light, five grand. And I even have shit crappy wave makers on here and it's still five grand if i put ecotech wave makers on here an ecotech pump return pump if i had a big name brand skimmer this thing would easily get up to six seven thousand dollars for a 25 gallon lagoon now i have this one set up different so it might be a little bit prettier but I see no difference in growth between this $5,000 tank and this $500 tank. If anything, I think these grow corals faster than this. And I give the credit to these Nitro Hyper Reef LED lights off Amazon. That light is amazing. If you would offer me a Radeon, and a night crew for free, and I had to pick one, I would pick the cheap night crew. Sorry, Radeon, step it up. Too damn expensive for what you're offering. And you can even create elaborate systems cheap. You know, $10 tank, $10 tank. Bring it down into a sump. Over here, we got a $40 tank. 
right and down into the sump. You can connect these together and make this all cheap. I added this one up. I forget what this was, but this one's only a few hundred bucks. Rimless. I mean, come on, man. You do not have to spend lots of money. I might have to make some videos on water changes and all. I keep lots of water ready to go. Got to make a video on CO2 scrubbers and how to make that cost efficient because that is not cost efficient on its own. You have to do some things to make it last longer. Got to stress. Don't fall into the people's trap. All these companies want your money. They don't want you to be successful. They don't care. They just want your money so they can be successful. They don't listen to it. They're telling you. You can do this cheap as hell. And you don't need to do half the stuff social media tells you to do. So we're going to work on that. My goal is to have everybody doing this cheap as possible. I want people to stop throwing their money in the trash can. And I want them to actually start focusing on the animals. What the animals like, what makes them happy, what makes them upset. Focus on the animals, not your equipment, and not so much your chemistry. Chemistry matters, but watching your animals matters more. I'm going to work on getting everybody, especially the new hobbyists and the younger hobbyists that don't have a lot of money. Our goal is to have cheaper reefing for everyone. Now, I cannot stress enough that these Wi-Fi power strips or any Wi-Fi outlet, this one can probably see easier. Oh, it's dirty as hell but these are a game changer this is what you spend a thousand dollars on a radeon light for because you get the fancy app and it's controllable or you go on amazon or wherever you can find them and buy a wi-fi power outlet for five bucks or a big power strip like this for 30 bucks and there you got an app you can set schedules you can control it and that turns your hundred or two hundred dollar light into a thousand dollar light so not stress that those wi-fi power strips and outlets are a game changer for real